G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. In a recent video, I showed you how to do a moulding, this one, by using just three hand planes. And that's for a picture frame that I'm making for a, a very special photographic poster of what they call the Hannah cabinet, or what is called the Hannah cabinet. And I thought, what I'd do this video, I'm actually making the frame real. Now I've worked out the profile that I want. This is the frame I'm actually making. So I thought instead of doing it with three planes, I will show you how effective time-wise moulding planes and plough planes can be. And I'm going to time this because I believe this moulding I can do quicker than someone could do on a router table. Bearing in mind they have to get the router, get the bits, set it up, measure it and run the stuff. So I'll have a timer on it and it'll be interesting to see how quickly I can do this. I am using the same gauge markings that I used for this, which if you've seen the previous video, when I made the profile, I said I was going to keep these markings because I want to transfer them onto this. Instead of cutting the rebate out of the bottom front, as I did in the previous video when I made that moulding, I used a rebate plane. What I'm going to use here is it's a Stanley 45 and it's a plough plane but it can also do different contours and different shapes. All I'm using in this though is a straight cutter so I've set the width of the cut that I want and also the depth of the cut that I want. The other two planes I'll be using which you might not be familiar with are these. Now they're called snipe bills and if you look at the front they're like the snipe bill on a bird. They're a specialty plane and frankly if you want to get into doing a lot of moulding for yourself whether it's picture frames, skirting, crown mouldings for cabinets you really will benefit from having a set of snipe bills. Once more again all the planes I'm using here apart from the Stanley 45 are H&T Gordon and they're available online and I'm going to see how quickly I can get this moulding done. So I guess I'd better put the timer on and get into it. And by the way this would be the same length of timber you would need if you were doing the skirting on a cabinet. So apart from the rebate I'm putting on this you could use it as a skirt of a cabinet. Put it up against the stop nail here, get a stop nail or stop screw this end, that's not going anywhere and we'll start to cut the rebate. You'll notice this has taken a much heavier shaving than the rebate plane I used previously. It's a rebate done. As you can see, all the way up. Now this is the line for the cove. And where I used the rebate plane before, I'm now going to use snipe bills. That's one. Now I'll use the other one, which is going to cut the other side. And one more for luck. As you can see, that leaves a nice deep V for me to push the round down. Now 
Now I'll start widening it out by moving the plane from side to side. Yeah, that takes care of the cove. Next is, I'll put a fillet in there. 